Hello, welcome to my new video. It's been almost a year and a half since I got my Atari VCS. Since then, many games have been released for the VCS. There's now a new game almost every week, sometimes more than one. I don't buy a lot of new games, but enough that I'm now reaching the limits of the storage capacity. The internal story of the Atari VCS is only 32 GB. So it's time to expand the storage capacity. The storage capacity of the VCS can be expanded in various ways. The easiest way is to connect a uh, USB stick. Nowadays these are also available in very large capacities, but the transfer speed is uh, somewhat slower. For greater capacity and speed you can also connect an external SSD drive. And the third solution is to install an internal SSD drive. The VCS has a free M.2 SSD slot for this. Personally I think this is the cleanest solution and this is the method that I selected. So I bought an M.2 SSD and that's what we're going to install in this video. So let's open the package. I ordered two things. Firstly the SSD drive, but also a micro USB stick. That one is for my uh, Atari 400 mini. The USB stick I have used so far is way too large. It sticks out too much. You can hardly see this uh, micro USB stick when it's in the back of the 400 mini. But back to the SSD drive. How can I open it? And now how do I get it out? Here we have it. I bought a 265 gigabyte stick. Not the biggest one available, but at an affordable price point. For only 22 euro, the storage capacity increases nine times. This is an M2 SATA SSD. Because it's important to know, there are two types of M2 SSDs. First we have this SATA SSD. That is the format that the Atari VCS supports. The drive can be recognized by two openings at the connection strip. But there are also M2 NVMe SSDs. These only have one opening at the connection strip. This prevents it from uh, being accidentally inserted in a SATA slot like in the VCS. So this is not the type you should buy for a VCS. That must be the SATA type. That could be uh, SATA 1, 2 or 3. First let's take a look at what the situation with my VCS is right now. For this we start the VCS. We immediately see the message at the top of the screen that the storage is full. Let's go to the settings. And then to storage. Here we see the internal storage and there we also see it's 100% full and has 0, 0.0 bytes free. We see that 19.6 GB is taken up by the games. So no more new games can be added. It's therefore time to add new storage capacity. For this we will now open the VCS. The screws are located under these uh, rubber feet. I've seen others remove them completely, but that's not necessary. You can lift them a little uh, on the inside. Underneath there are the Torx screws, so you need the Torx screwdriver for this. These are somewhat less common. A screwdriver with the size T10 is needed for these screws.
So, they are loose. I leave the screws in and put the feedback on so they can't fall out. Now we have to take the back off. You do this by clamping your fingers behind it and then pull it until you hear a click. Okay, it's loose. I'm going to put something in front of it that I can use to put the front against later. Now the top can be lifted off. Now gently lift the top and that will cause the front to go off by itself. I place the top against the can. I do this carefully because the Wi-Fi antenna is at the top and that's attached to the Wi-Fi module with two wires. And uh, if you're not careful, these will pop off very easily. Now you can click them back on, but that's quite a hassle. I rather avoid that. Luckily my VCS contains the mounting screw for the SSD. That's not always the case. Then you will have to look for a suitable screw yourself. I will take the screw off and uh, set it aside. Now I can click in the SSD. And now you see why the screw is needed. We use the screw to secure the SSD. So, that's it. Well, it looks, uh, it looks quite nice. Now the top can be closed again. And then the front can be put back on. That's done. And now the back. Okay, that's done. I'm not going to fasten the screws yet, because uh, I'm first going to test it. The out of memory is still present, but this is because we first have to move uh, games to the new SSD. For this we go to the storage settings again. Here we now see, in addition to the internal storage, also the SSD SATA storage. It is currently indicating that it uh, not has been formatted yet. So we uh, select the SSD and then it goes direct to the format option. If you choose this, uh, one last option is given to opt out. So check whether the current disk is uh, listed there. And then we are going to format it. Ah, that uh, went uh, pretty quick. Now we can start using the SSD. We go back to the internal storage and uh, select a number of games. I choose a few of the larger games. We then go to uh, move. Here we can choose uh, where to go, but uh, in this case, this is only uh, has one option. And confirm. This is going to take uh, a bit longer. So let's uh, speed this up a bit. And finished. Look, now the internal drive is only 62% full. And the other one only 3%. That's a lot better. I'll do the rest uh, another time. Now let's see if we can uh, start a game from the new SSD. 
Let's start the food fight. Yes, that uh, seems uh, to work. That's great. Well, I think the rest is fine. We can now uh, fasten the screws. Okay, that's done. With this uh, extra storage capacity, I can continue for a while. Now you can also expand uh, the memory of the VCS, but that's a little bit more difficult, because uh, that's uh, at the bottom. I think the original intention was to have an uh, opening here to make it easy to uh, add extra memory. But I also think that uh, extra memory is not that necessary, as long as you play games from the Atari Game Store. Once you are going to install Windows, uh, extra memory will be useful. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and write some comments to support this channel. Thank you in advance. For now, until the next video, bye!